Okay, I'm gonna go over the doors on the Garmat booth. These doors are very critical in the pressurization of the booth, maintaining the good proper pressure while you're spraying. So in order to close these doors, grab your pull handle, then your locking mechanism. Go to your center door. Pull in, lock. Then we're gonna close our personnel door. Now with all these doors closed, you're gonna notice that we do not have rod or rod guides to latch our doors. All that's built internally in these doors. We've got smooth glass from door to glass, smooth. We're trying to keep as much of a smooth, continuous finish on the interior of these doors. Now we're gonna step outside and look at the hinges and what maintenance needs to be done on the exterior of the doors. Okay, we're gonna talk about hinge maintenance. On these hinges, you have a grease zerk on each one in the center. You've got three hinges across the top. You've got three hinges across the bottom. One time a year, you need to grease those zerks on every one of these hinges using a non-silicone based grease. The other thing we need to look at are the bushings on these for any wear or tear. If a door's dropped down, it's dragging, hanging a little bit, more than likely you got a bad bushing and you can replace those bushings. The other thing that I would like to touch base on is when you're opening and closing these doors, let's not be hanging on them or swinging on them, playing around. Treat it as the door at your house. Open and close them properly. This is the most used part of a paint booth, the most important part to keep this a good pressurized unit. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the door gaskets on a Garmat. It's called a V gasket. The reason it's called a V gasket is because it's shaped like a V. With that being said, that's the easiest way to remember the direction of which way this gasket needs to go on. The V always needs to be facing into the booth. That way this is a positive pressure booth. The air being pushed through those door cracks will open this gasket up to form a seal. So that's the V-style gasket that Garmat uses. Now there are two different sizes per door configuration on each end of the booth. You have a large gasket that's gonna be on your outer areas here and here, and in between the doors at this point. That's where you're going to use the wide V-profile gasket. On the top and on the bottom, and where your personnel door meets, you're going to use the smaller V gasket. Always remember the V points down into the booth. Only on the bottom gasket does the V point down, and I'm talking about down at floor level. The bottom gasket always points down, otherwise V into the booth. So with that being said, I'm gonna remove one of my outer gaskets here and show you how to install this gasket on the door. It's very simple. Grab the gasket at the top, peel it off. Sometimes it comes off in pieces, depending on the adhesion that it's made to the booth. But don't worry about that, that's very typical. Once you've got the old gasket removed, dispose of that, get it out of your way. Take a tack cloth, wipe down where you're just taking that gasket off, getting all the excessive adhesion that was on there off. That way we know we're gonna get a good bond with our new gasket. So with that, remember now we always want the V in. So with that being said, I'm gonna start my gasket up here at the top with my V in. Now you pull your tape off of the gasket, starting at the top, and press it into place. Now from this point, do not pull down on this gasket. Let this gasket hang and lay where it wants to. Don't pull on it and try and keep it straight. What that'll do is about a day after you put the gasket on or even maybe a couple hours after you put the gasket on, the gasket will start pulling itself off as the rubber tries to set back where it was originally. So that's why we do not want to pull down on that when we're installing it, just let it lay in place.
And as you get down towards the bottom of this thing, you don't want to just keep letting it lay. You can kind of guide it, but do not pull on it. Now, we know we got to be right here, so take your razor blade or your pocket knife, whatever is available. Cut your gasket to length. And that's it to a good seal and a gasket replacement. Now, the one good thing about a Garmat booth is in order to replace all your door seals, you do not need to remove your doors and disassemble your doors to do this. It was that quick and that easy.